save, baby. Rise and shine. Breakfast is ready, babes. <laughs> There you go. Breakfast in bed. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Eat up. It smells so nice too. <laughs> Got to eat. All right, then eat up while I rush to the shower. Uh, no. What is it? It took me. No, I've had mine already. Besides, I'm running late for work. What if I insist? And I would say, please don't, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you more, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Great, great. Okay. All right, fine then. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Who was that? Uh, that was Jane, my colleague at work. Why is she calling you? What does she want? She just wanted to know if I have the file she was working on the previous day. File? So you now keep her file at home? No, she's my colleague. My co-worker, that's what we do for each other. Your co-worker? Sure, you're telling me the truth. I've got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. Run along. All right then. You seem so relaxed. You're not going to work today? It's my work free day. I told you. Oh, yes, you did. I totally forgot. <laughs> that means you have a pretty long day ahead of you, trust me. You can say that again. That's why you need to get back here in time to make it count. Trust me to make it count, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, babes. I was just going to call you. Like seriously. Um, so is it gonna be it's two year off day, right? Of course. Like I told you yesterday, it's going to be a long day for you and I. Mm. Okay, so what's the plan? Where exactly are we going? Uh, nothing serious. We'll just stop at a spa for some treatment and then we hang out. You and I, anywhere of your choice. Be or more. Oh, really? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It's a nice idea, darling. Um, what I will do is I will quickly get to my fashion shop and see how my girls are doing. Then from there I will come over. What about that? Uh, okay. I'll be ready before you get here. And please, madam, don't keep me waiting. All right, bye. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye. Oh, me too. Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> right in time. 
Thank you. 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 You look good, as always. Your trademark. Thank you so much, Gabby. You're welcome. You taught me how to do this. <laughs> you look good, too. Uh, Thank you. Do you, you want something to drink um, or eat? No, I'm good. Okay, so we should get going then. Good to go. <laughs> Pack my car outside, so I will drive behind you. Ah, uh, no, no point. Come in, leave the uh, car. It's fine. Okay. Let's go in mine. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be having a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like I said, a long day. any place of your choice. Okay. And can I open the gate? I know. <laughs> There's this new design I came up with. You really need to see it. Really? Trust me. Okay. I it will be a bomb. You will love it, Anita. I need to see it. Um, that reminds me. I felt to inquire about your husband, Dan. How is he? It's been a while. Ah, uh, it's fine. You know him is the working type. Always busy. <laughs> I know. Every woman dream husband. You are so lucky. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just make sure you keep him safe. Good men like that are hard to come by. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, well, I'm doing just that. Keeping him safe. Please do, darling. Um, so you have anywhere in mind? Um, actually, I'm thinking of going to this part first because I really need this massage. Your friend body's been in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was my idea. Hello, honey. Yeah, I'm just heading home now. <laughs> yeah. Of course, what do you want me to cook for you? All right then, sure, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, sure, why not? That, that's not a problem. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'll do it, okay? <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Love you too. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> Whew, yeah, Olga, take me to the mall, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can yeah, say that again. <laughs> so you really liked the spa treatment, huh? Yes, I did. It was very fantastic, though expensive. Well, looking good is good money. <laughs> I know, but be damn money. I beg, don't be here. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Joy. Well, I don't mind the money as long as I get what I want. Obviously. Like you say, looking good is a good business. business. <laughs> <laughs> You're so uh, right. <laughs> uh, Joy, look at you. It's been four years since your last relationship with Paul. Yes, I know things didn't work out, but hey, you have to move on. You have to move on with your life. Give love a chance. Uh, Anita, I just can't. Why? Every woman needs me. I know, but after my last experience with Paul, at least not now, I just can't. 
Joy, you still need to give love. Jesus. Please, Anita, can you just drop it? Okay, please. Okay. <sighs> Don't you think he's getting late? Your husband. Oh, don't worry about my husband. I called him already. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to fix dinner and also help me wash my soap, pants, and the back too. Hmm? Anita, you ask your husband to wash your soap on this. Mm hmm. This is my husband and not yours. After asking him to fix dinner, you still ask him to wash your soap on this. Anita! He's your husband for Christ's sake and not your slave. Hey, why are you making a big deal out of this? I have done so much for Daniel. I picked him from the gutters. He owed me more than his life. And it's the same story every day. Notwithstanding, he's still your husband. He deserves some respect. Come on, drink up. <laughs> Paul? Oh my God! Paul! <laughs> is this my old time friend? <laughs> Look Dan. at you! <laughs> oh my goodness, is this really you? Come here, good to oh see you, God. man. <laughs> How have you been? Man, you're looking good. I'm cool. Thank you, thank How you. How have you been too? How is life with you? It's been good, very well. Man. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you too, Paul. I heard you're married now. How that? Yeah. Three years down the lane. Wow. But. Back then, I, I came to your office with an IV and I was told you just went to the UK for a course. Me? Yeah. So I just missed your wedding? Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> so is she someone I know? Nah, nah, nobody, you know, trust me. You don't know her. You don't know this one. But <laughs> well, she's doing a great job, man. Yeah, she's, she's doing pretty good. Yeah. Maybe one of these days I'll just, you know, bring her to your office just for an introduction, yeah. Well, the usual is mine to hear this. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know what, then? I need to run along. All right, no problem. Some things. Yeah, cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Looking forward baby. to seeing you too. Right, yeah. <laughs> Paul! <laughs> Dr. Paul. All right, yeah, Dr. Paul. <laughs> uh. How did your outing go with Joy? Ah, oh, great. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. Ah, awesome. Okay, so why don't you go up and freshen up? I would get the table ready before you come down. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, did, did you wash the pants? Very clean and luminous. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love you. Love you too. Mm. Go I'll be back in a minute. Sure, baby. <laughs> that was a delicious meal you prepared. I'm glad you liked it. I love it. <laughs> You're getting better by the day. <laughs> you know, your happiness is all that matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come, come and give me the real food. You sure you want it? I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes, she would have called me, so we discussed about it. 
Okay, it's it's all right. I'll call her. Okay. <laughs> Honey, you know that woman that. Then what is the problem? Honey, what is the problem? You want to talk to me about something? What is the matter? Go ahead. I'm worried. I'm just so worried. Worried about what? I don't know what is happening. You're not making sense. What is it? It's been three years. Three years of marriage and nothing to show for it. Not even a miscarriage, yet we have sex like every other day. I mean, it's three years not even enough to have a miscarriage just to prove to us that, that, that you... Prove to you that what? Wait a minute. What are you insinuating? That this is my fault? No, I'm, I'm not saying it's your fault. It's just that I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're taking some pills or something. I really do not... Hell no! How could you? How could you even think a thing like that? That I'm taking something to stop me from getting pregnant. How? Why did I get married? I should have just stayed single and I'm married instead. I don't know. I'm just worried. I don't even know what to think anymore. You think I'm not worried? You think I'm not bothered that my friend who got married the same time I did? I'm nursing their second child now and I'm here waiting for God's time is the best. You think I'm not bothered? That I'm calm is because I know God is the giver of children and he will give me mine at the right time. I am disappointed in you. How could you even say such mean and ash words to, 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 to me? Sweetheart, sweetheart, see, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay, it's just that I'm, I'm so worried, I'm, I'm confused, I don't even know what to do. And I, I'm even thinking we should see a doctor. Yes, we should see a doctor. I, I have a doctor friend who just came into town. He's going to be of help to us with her. Please. I am not ready to see any quack doctor. Sweetheart. I am absolutely fine. He's, he's not a quack doctor. He just came back from the UK where he went to study a professional course. He can... Oh, sweetheart, please. Let's just see him. He will be of help to us. Okay. I'll see him tomorrow. Yes, coming. Hello, old friend. Ah! <laughs> my man is man down. What is pleasant surprise? Told you I was gonna come like a thief in night. <laughs> wow. And here we are. You are most welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank I'm you. really honored. Please sit. No, not until I introduce to you my very beautiful wife, the queen of my heart, Anita Peters. Anita Peters meet my old buddy, Dr. Paul is in <laughs> <laughs> I, we have to go. I just remember that I need to give um, the client a document. Uh, so, so, so we, we just. Uh, I, I said let's go. It's very important. We can do this another time. We just got here. Let's go. Say hello to my friend. I'm, I'm really sorry. She usually doesn't act this way. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, Daniel, very important. Daniel, yeah, come on, let's go. Like she said we'll be back. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Daniel. Anita. What's the act you put up there? What act? Honey, I was supposed to give a client this important document this morning. Well, I totally forgot. But that could wait after the introduction. That was my childhood friend I wanted us to meet. And besides, you know why we went to see him. Yeah, we could see him any other time. But my business cannot wait. Besides, this is a very important business proposal. And I cannot afford to blow it up because I want to meet your friend. All right then, so when do we see him? Maybe next week. Maybe. You're not even sure, sweetheart. Fine, fine. I will great time next week. Even though I still have doubts about that quack doctor friend of yours. Oh, sweetheart, please. Can I go now? It's okay. Wish me luck. Good luck.
Love you. <laughs> Very funny. The girl you're chatting with on the phone that is making you smile like a fool. You did not even notice me walking. Who is she? Who is the bitch? It's a guy. And I'm not gay. It's Frederick. Let me see. Let me see. Let me confirm. Give me the phone. Give me the phone! Satisfied? No, I am not. I am not done. It is high time you, you, you cut this unnecessary list of useless friends that you are carrying up and down. All those useless boys that will be arranging small small girls for you behind my back. You don't need them in your life. You have me. I'm your wife. And said, so after bleaching your skin, you now come to church and start singing, uh, what's the song? I know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to say, Yes, I know who you are, sister. You're a chameleon. <laughs> really? I told you. Said that? You did. <laughs> so, what, what did the girl do next? The girl, she left the choir stand and she never returned until after church. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> ah, really sad. I told you, babes. Yeah. Honey, um, you. Remember, you said you were going to see the doctor this week? Um, oh, that. Please now, baby, please. Let's just see him, I beg you. Honestly, honey, I don't want to go back to that hospital again. I am not comfortable with that doctor friend of yours. I don't like his face. I mean, can't we go to another hospital with more qualified doctors? Must it be that quack doctor friend of yours? Maybe he's not quack doctor, he's good. Please. Alright. Go there if you insist. Go there tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, babe, tomorrow works really perfect for me. Thank you. The test result has returned to us. And from the result, we've discovered that. Um, Doctor, why, why are you pussing? Just go ahead and tell us what it is. I can assure you that uh, uh, myself and my wife here can, can handle it. Is it fibroid or. And it's not a problem. The problem does not lie with the vessel. Your wife here is perfectly okay. <laughs> Good. The fault is not hers, but yours. What? what? Are you, are, you, are you saying the fault is mine? I'm sorry, Dan, but that is the truth. You can go anywhere in the world and will tell you the same thing. You see, for a man to be able to impregnate a woman, he needs to produce sufficient quantity and quality of sperm that are able to find a way into the woman's egg and fertilize it. If this production is compromised in any way, infertility will resolve. Okay, okay. Um, are, are you saying I am infertile? The average sperm count is 20 million sperm per milliliter of ejaculation to get a woman pregnant. Any number less than this is called an oligospermia. You are close to a zero sperm count, almost a no sperm count, which is azospermia in medicine. You cannot be able to make any woman pregnant. Wait, 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 wait. Are you? Are you trying to say I married an impotent man? No, madam. He's not completely impotent. At least he's sexually active. But... But what? 
It's just that what? What is the difference? A man that cannot get a woman pregnant is as good as impotent. Hey, I cannot believe it. So all these years I've been wasting my time with this useless, shameless, vegetable impotent man. And I was thinking it's my fault all along. <laughs> He said the result would be the same. He's my friend and he won't lie. Mm -hmm. So now that you know this is your fault, so what next? What are you going to do? Because I want to get pregnant. I want to get pregnant. Get me pregnant. I want to carry my own child. Put baby inside me. Stand up. Stand up. Get me pregnant now. Can you take that stupid saw shade off? Yes, take it off. Let me know when you're looking at another woman's butt. Are you for real? Take it off. With two kids. Are you serious? Yes. Wow, I'm really very happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for someone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's fine, no problem. Uh, I'll have to rush back now. Mm. Perhaps we can meet later, okay? Quite understood then. Yeah, all right then. Bye. 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 Understood the whole thing. That girl was my cosmate, and it's been a long time since I last saw her. Is that enough reason why you should hug and kiss her right in my presence? Hugging, kiss who, Anita? Why are you exaggerating things now? Oh, please save me that stupid crap. Nonsense. Anita! Hey, see, baby, it's, it's not what you Oh, think. don't you dare tell me that nonsense, you impotent idiot. You know, I don't blame you. I blame myself for picking your sorry ass from the gutters and then brushing you up all in the name of love and a marriage. That's why you have the infantry to, to hug another woman right in front of me. Anita, must you always say this like an everyday recitation of how you raised me from nothing to something? Is it not true? Did I not pick your sorry ass from the gutters? Did I not clothe you? Did I not give you food? Is it not true? Where were all those bitches when, when you were dying of hunger in the gutters? Anita, that girl you saw was my cosmate in school and I have absolutely nothing to do with her. And you expect me to believe this bullshit. Now let me warn you. 
The fact that you're impotent does not give you the freedom to mess around with other girls simply because you can't get them pregnant. Listen to me very carefully. You are my husband and I own you! It's been three years since we got married. No child. Not even a miscarriage to show for it. It's beginning to weigh me down. Anita, I understand. But your husband is not complaining. He's not even showing it in his manners. You need to take it easy. It's just three years. I mean, nothing is impossible with God. You're right. <laughs> Except for the fact that my husband knows he's the reason why I'm not conceiving. What? You heard me right. My husband is important. Oh my god. Your husband is, is what? We went to see the doctor and he confirmed him impotent. Oh, Anita. Anita, I'm so sorry. How did I even end up with an impotent husband? All I ever wanted was to be like other women, have children, live a happy life, breastfeed my own child with, 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 with my own breasts. How did I even end up with a cursed destiny? Anita, don't say that. No one say it and it comes to pass. When God has not spoken, God still exists. One with him is majority. Nothing is impossible with him, Anita. You obviously did not go to work today. So where are you coming from? What kind of question is that? Must you know the every move I make in this house? Look at your useless life. Look at you. Shapeless, impotent, useless bastard. Look at you. I'm sure you went to see all those small, small girls that are following up and down on the street. What's the meaning of that? What is the meaning of what? What is the meaning of what? Oh, don't you act dumb with me because you know you are the reason for my frustration. You impotent bastard. Useless vegetable. about this the right way. You're not handling it well enough. I mean, it's very absorbed. You could talk to your husband in such a rude manner, all because he's important. This is my family. He's my husband and not yours. And I'm your friend, your best friend at that matter. If I don't tell you the truth, who else will? You need to allow that young man some room to breathe, Anita. You can't be treating him like he's the worst man on earth. Are you done? If you're done preaching, come on, let me see you off. Don't worry. I can find my way. Hmm. Okay. Set this off. And one more lead to advice. Don't always cry more than the bereaved. So everything you don't turn back and happen to you. My mother told me that. See yourself to the gate. I am talking to you! And where do you know such a rabid creature from? Who is a rabbit? Who is a rabbit? Hey, Anita! Anita. Oh, you shut up, you, you useless, shameless man! You hit me? Yes! 
and I will not just hit you again. I will tie you up and flog the hell out of you if you don't stay away from my husband. Are you his wife? Mm -mm. I'm his house help. Isn't it obvious? I'm very sorry, ma. I'm very sorry. We don't have anything going on between us. We're just colleagues. We came to have lunch. Oh, would you save me that stupid life for the breads? You think I don't know prostitute like you? All you do in the office? You think I don't know? Now let me warn you. <coughs> if you don't stay away from my husband, uh, you have to undergo a surgery for my last seat, but... Okay, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's take this place, my friend. up to this place. Your misconduct is getting ways out of hand and it has got to stop. No, I have had it up to this place with your philandering life with those no like bitches. You better stop else you will get my rocks. You see, I'm just, I'm sick and tired of, of this stupid obsessive misapprehension of your childish imagination. Look, I'm sick and tired of it. <coughs> childish imagination. I caught my husband cheating and he calls it childish imagination. Can you even listen to yourself? I wasn't cheating, damn it! That young girl you just humiliated is one very innocent, harmless, and most morally right girl I have ever met since my atomic surgeon on the surface of this earth. Look, you are losing it, Anita, and you've got to watch it. You are crossing the line. Exactly. Looking at the way you just praised that little prostitute, so yes, you have something going on with her, or you want to start something. But well, that is why you need to stop that job right away. Yes, you heard me. Terminate your job appointment with that company. Yes, you will stop working with them and you will not work any other place. So, so, so what do you want me to do? Just just sit, sit and do nothing? Yes, you are nothing without me. You are just the half vegetable woman that cannot get a woman pregnant. That is what you are. Well, you can say whatever you want to say, but I'm not quitting my job. It is not an option. It's an author. Oh, you dare not go against me, else I will tell everyone that cares to listen how much of a vegetable you are. You perfect bastard. in hell, Doc. I'm dying. Calm down. Just tell me all about it, buddy. So my wife has suddenly become the worst nightmare I've ever met. She's overly bossy right now. Domineering, dictatorial, and very arrogant. I mean, she wants to know my every move. She wants to know every woman that I meet. Worst of is that she's accusing me of cheating with a colleague of mine in my office. Can you imagine? And then my CEO, Mrs. Katunge, has forced me to compulsorily resign to retire at this young age, Doc. You just have to take things easy, old friend. Come to think of it, there is no true love without jealousy. She loves you very much. It's very evident from her actions that she loves you. And that's her own way of expressing the love. What stupid love, Doc? What stupid love? This woman is killing me slowly. And I'm beginning to think it's because she told her that I'm important. That's why she, she, got the, she, she has the nerve to just get nasty with me. I am very sorry about that. But I thought she would take it the matured way. I never knew she was going to turn this way. Perhaps I should call her and have a word with her. If that's okay by you. Yeah, sure, of course. It's, it's okay. She, she, she can join us now. We just talk over it here and now and, and see what, what, what happens after, after it. That's good. Yeah. Let me have her number then. 081. How could you even be so stupid and senseless as to invite me to, to the office of a man I hate so much? Okay, you now go up and down and tell the whole world about your family issue. Did you also tell him how weak you are in bed? Did you tell him? What's your problem with him anyway? I don't like him. I hate him. I don't like anything about him. He's my friend, remember? Uh -huh, and so what? And so what? I don't like him. I, I, I don't want to see him. I hate him so much. So because of small issue, you're not running to your friend like a baby. Eh? So you should do what? I should carry you and pet you and give you breasts. Is that what you want? Can you in all honesty tell me what this is about? Yes. Yes, I will tell you. 
I will tell you I want to carry my own child. I want you to get me pregnant. That is what I want. Get me pregnant. Sorry, I'm sorry, I would have. Yeah, it's fine. I'll open it now. All right, mommy. I'll get your box. All right. You knew your mother was coming to my house, and you didn't deem it fit to let me know. Anita, you have to believe me. I never meant to keep this away from you. Uh, truth is, I, I completely forgot because of all of this crisis. So please save me that crap. You knew she was coming all along, and you did it on purpose just to spite me. No, it's not true. I wasn't just thinking straight to remember. This is my house, and I need to know everything that goes on. This is an insult to me now. Oh no, Anita, this is my mother we are talking about here. My mother is your mother. She, she didn't mean any harm in coming. She just concluded our Omugu at my sister's place and thought to check up on us to know how we are faring. I'm sure she's not going to stay for too long. That's not the point. Alright, fine. I, I own up, okay? I, I, I messed up by not according you your respect. I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> Mama, here you go. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. You're welcome, man. Thank you. <laughs> Change this one now. We're not one Don't thing. worry, mommy. Watch us now. They are the best. Uh, I don't like football. They teach you patience in life. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, it's so nice to see you come see us finally. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> I was thinking you would leave for the village after the Mugwe without seeing us. How can I do that? It's not possible now. How can I come to Lagos without seeing all my children? When I have the opportunity to do that, <laughs> that's not wise. And we're hoping you would spend quality time with us because we don't want you to go anytime soon. <clears throat> and why would I do that? Eh? Dan, as if I have any child to keep me busy. Or you want me to sit down and take care of adults like both of you? Where will I start? Bath your legs? Your hands? Eh? Why, why, why are you sounding like this? Now? Why won't I sound like that? Why will you give me grandchildren, Dan? Is it when I'm dead and gone? When will I hear the cry of a baby in this house? When? My daughter, is there any problem? You are rich. You are wealthy. You, you have money to buy everything money can buy let me tell you hmm? all these you acquire if you don't have any child who will inherit all this who um mama it's not as if is it a crime for a mother to wish to expect to desire to see her grandchildren before her demise is it a crime we might all be different is anything wrong with you? Yes. Are you barren? Yes. If you are not barren, what's keeping you in giving me grandchildren? What? 
Mama, I think you should go ahead and ask your impotent son here and leave me the hell alone! Sent mother and son. The ghost will punish that your mouth. The ghost will punish that your mouth. Then, then. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm sure. How are you? Now? You sure you cannot wait? Sweet loving husband, please forgive me. I, 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 I knew Bob before we met. He knows everything about me. He knows how I lost my womb, tried what? to afford the pregnancy for a pastor who, who got me pregnant and asked me to remove this just to keep his reputation. I am sorry I lied to you. I am sorry. I am sorry I never told you I don't have a womb to be a YouTube. I am sorry, please, please forgive me. Get your hands off me! You deceitful, barren, vegetable bastard I call a wife! So I was able, or was capable of giving birth to children! I could have even given birth to a community if I wish! But you connived with that bastard! To make me believe that I can't give birth to children! Please, please, I know you have a good heart. Forgive me, I lied, I'm not been a good man. I know. <laughs> the first day we walked into his office, I, I realized you two were friends. I knew I was in big trouble. I had to save myself. That's why I pretended I had a very important business meeting to attend to. Everything was just a lie. Everything was like nothing like that happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. 
It's all making sense now. It's all coming back to me. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry I went back to the office behind your back just to save myself. Only oh, please. Yes, come in. I knew you would come back. Please help me. Please help me and save my marriage. I'm in big trouble. Please help me, save me, please, I beg you. How do I save your marriage when I don't know what your problem is? Oh, please stop all this pretense. You know I don't have a womb. You know I lost my womb trying to abort a pregnancy for Pastor Ezekiel. You know all this. That's why I came to you. Please help me, my husband will not stop unless he finds a reason to. Please, I beg you, save my marriage, please. He's my friend, Anita. We've been friends for so many years. No. That's why I came to you to help me. Please, I have invested so much in him. I cannot lose him. Please help me. Please help me. What do you have me to save your marriage? Tell him the truth. I want my secret to remain secret. Tell him it's the problem. Make him believe it's imperfect. What? That is outrageous. What do you become desperate and try elsewhere? He trusts you, and he will believe whatever you tell him. And another woman? What if he tries other women? Don't, don't worry about that. I will make sure that never happens. Just name your price. Whatever it is I'm ready to do to save my marriage, please help me. Please, I beg you, please. On one condition. Anything. Anything at all. I am ready to do anything to save my marriage. Just name it. Name your price. Anything. Apart from cash, I will have your body anytime I want it. That bastard! That was the reason for my overbearing attitude towards you. Oh, my arrogance and unconventional ways was just a way to keep girls away from you to avoid it inevitable. Please, I'm sorry. I am not happy to embarrass you and insult you in front of your friends and colleagues. So, all this place I've been wasting my time with this useless, shameless, vegetable impotent man. And I was thinking it's my fault all along. What are you going to do? Because I want to get pregnant. I want to get pregnant. Get me pregnant. I want to carry my own child. Put baby inside me, stand up! Can you take that stupid sausage off? Yes, take it off. Let me know when you're looking at another woman's butt. Oh, don't you dare tell me that nonsense, you impotent idiot. You know I don't blame you. I blame myself for picking your sorry ass from the gutters and then brushing you off all in the name of love and a marriage. That's why you have the infantry to, to hug another woman right in front of me. I'm sure you went to see all those small, small girls are following up and down on the street. You are nothing without me. You are just the half vegetable woman that cannot get a woman pregnant. Hey, 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 Anita, oh, you shut up, you useless, shameless man. You hit me? Yes. And I will not just hit you again. I will tie you up and flog the hell out of you if you don't stay away from my husband. I was scared. Everything I did, I did it because I didn't want to lose you. I Please forgive me, please. How could you, Anita? I mean, why didn't you tell me about your problems? Why couldn't you confide in me? I was scared. I was scared. I was scared. I was scared. You were a good man. And I know you don't deserve to be treated the way I treated you. But please, please, my husband. Hey, 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 don't you dare. Never in your life would you call me that. It's over between us. I'm done with you, deceitful bitch. No, no, please, no, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. Remember the vows we had the altar for better for worse. We'll stick together. Please don't say that. Please don't say that, my husband. Please. Please, please, just forgive me. Please. But forget your cost tens of me. I reject you and reject everything that you have. I'm gonna leave you with this house, leave the cats and everything behind. Now you will have all the space in the world to mess around with Dr. Paul. Anita, suit yourself. No, no, don't say that is you I want. I don't want anyone, please. Okay. I'm sorry. I will stab you. I will become your slave. I will do everything. Just give me a second chance, please. I should find a place in my heart to forgive you, right? No. So touching. But you know what? 
I've moved on to better things and there is no space in this land for you! Please don't leave me, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Thanks to your little game of dirty secrets, I'm gonna be your father soon. Father, father. Oh, oh. You're not the only one that can keep secrets after all. Your friend here, Joy, is two months pregnant for me. And we already kick-started plans for our traditional marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't believe you. Tell me this is not true. Tell me, tell me this is not true. Just, just, just tell me no, this is not true. It's true, Anita. It's true. You can drink yourself to hell for all I care. <laughs> What are you doing to yourself? <sighs> Dan, look. I know what you're going through. But this, nah, it won't change anything. You are a good man, despite your present situation. But you can't just give up on God yet. Remember, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. And he can make your life whole again. You just need to believe in him and not give up. Thank you, Joy. Those are very consoling words that I haven't heard in a long time. Just focus on God and everything will be fine again. You are one in a million. <laughs> Thank God you can still find your humor. Um, where's my friend? Uh, I... And she went out. Oh, I missed her. <laughs> um, okay. You need to change, so I'll probably help you get up and... Oh, my God. <laughs> You're drunk. And you're everything my wife isn't. You're tender, you're beautiful, and you're very kind. Come on. What are you doing here? Um, Joy, I, uh, I just came to apologize. For what happened the other night, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. It wasn't meant to be. You know, I was drunk and uh, things just got out of hand. And it, it happened. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Um, let's just pretend nothing happened. I mean, as long as I'm concerned, nothing happened. But. I don't know how I'm supposed to face your wife. She was supposed to be my best friend. I know. 
nobody can change what happened. But I'm really sorry. It's okay. The whole trust part between Dan and I was a mistake. <laughs> to be discovered in the dark side of my memory. A secret never to be remembered or told. <laughs> Not until the last two weeks, I started to feel feverish. <laughs> and I was the doctor. The test was conducted. It came out positive. Since our abortion wasn't an option, I said to call Nan this morning to inform him. Hey. You sounded really urgent on the phone. You know? Why are you crying? Is there a problem? I'm, I'm pregnant. That's, that's not why you should be crying. It's okay. Who's responsible? I am pregnant for you, Dan. Huh? <laughs> no, come on. You, you, you shouldn't joke with, with matters of such magnitude. Come on, no. I am not joking. I am being serious. I started to feel feverish two weeks ago. I went to see a doctor. And you confirmed I am pregnant. I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. Not until this morning. I decided to call you. But how, how is that even possible? I'm, I'm impotent. I can't even get a woman pregnant. For the past four years, no man, no man has ever laid with me. Until that day we made love, no man has ever touched me. Except you. So I've been, I've been perfectly okay. I've been, I've been perfectly fertile. Yes, you are. No, no, something, something is wrong somewhere. It's, it's either Paul didn't. No, 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 some, something is wrong. Then I can, I can have a baby out of wedlock. Joy. Pregnancy is an accident. Between Dan proposed to me this morning, I couldn't say no. <laughs> He's such a nice man. I can't just watch him suffer anymore. I'm so sorry, Anita. You traitor! How could you? How could you betray my friendship? How could you? you betrayed my son's trust and love for you. So if all you want to do, you plan to send him to an early grave. It will not work for you. You planned to ruin my son's life for the calamity you brought upon yourself as a result of your recklessness. <laughs> Anita, you are wicked. You are heartless. You are evil. <laughs> now tell me, Anita, who is pathetic and miserable? Come on, just just leave this disgust, idiot. Let's get our things out of here. Oh, no, 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 you, you, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. We'll be through a lot together. You can't leave me. I will change. I, I, I have faith. I have tears. You cannot leave me. I've sacrificed the world. You cannot leave me, please. I beg you, give me a second chance, please. There's no second chance for the devil. You're a daughter of perdition, and I'm done. You've got to listen to me, please. I Please, I beg you, I will check. Please don't leave me, don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me, please, please. Please. <laughs> 